What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and I'm here in Florence, Italy right now at the beautiful Four Seasons Hotel Firenze at the Faggio Gardens and we're about to set out on a crazy driving experience as part of Beyond by Four Seasons. Here is part of the Beyond Four Seasons experience, which brings together the best of Four Seasons hospitality. You've got a great destination like Italy, which I've been wanting to come back to for many years, a beautiful hotel, the Four Seasons Firenze. And at the same time, we're also gonna be getting to drive a Ferrari this week through the Tuscan countryside and seeing some of the most beautiful landscapes while visiting the most storied vineyards that date all the way back to 1385. This is gonna be an amazing five days in Four Seasons inaugural Beyond event. So look forward to some of their future experiences that they have coming up in some of the most beautiful destinations in the world. This is a trip that I've been so excited for for quite a long time because it brings together all the elements of travel, interior, and cars that we love to talk about on the channel. So I'm really excited to bring you guys on this experience of Beyond by Four Seasons. So let's just go ahead and start with the first day. So the real highlight of this trip is the drive experience through the Tuscan countryside. And as you can see, we've got a whole row of beautiful exotic cars here. So for anyone who loves cars like this, or specifically Ferraris like myself, this is really a dream itinerary and I'm so excited to get on the road. This right here is the 488 Spider, which is the car that I'm going to be driving in this week's drive experience tour. Let's go ahead and hit the road. But as soon as we hopped in our cars, you can tell that this wasn't any other driving experience. The 12 supercars pulled out of the hotel and we were met with a team of motorcycles that led us through a curated drive through the city of Florence and onto the Tuscan Hills. You can tell the amount of effort that the organizers put into making this experience as seamless and comfortable as possible as we enjoyed the incredible views. On the tech side of things, Four Seasons also provided us with a phone that stayed connected with the team at all times in case we got lost or in case we needed help along the way. It also had the itinerary for the day to let us know exactly where we need to go. We drove down the small country roads surrounded by the rolling hills and small villages as the locals stepped out and waved at us as we passed by. And as we went through the cities, it was really cool to see people waving and taking photos and just very proud of the Scuderia Ferrari heritage in Italian culture. There was a few stops along the way for coffee, food, and wine tasting. One day that really stuck out was driving up to Montalcino, which is a beautiful small town on the top of the hills that took almost two hours to get to. And we were greeted by an amazing lunch waiting for us at the city hall. The lunch was some of the best pasta that we ever had, and they wrapped it up with a gift from Brunello de Montalcino, which is a wine that we could take home. Another thing we realized pretty quick was how variable the weather was once we got into the hills. One minute the top is down and you're having a blast and the next you're damp. It made for some really moody scenery that never lasted too long, but the variety is what made it amazing. Even cooler was that we also got to check out one of Ferrari's newest models and what is of the future, the 296 GTB. Ferrari's first hybrid car with a V6 engine and incredibly seamless interior that showcased the future of performance cars. After a jam-packed day on the road, the next day we had a complete itinerary in Florence planned out with exclusive access to one of the most insane experiences Florence has to offer. The hotel itself is set on an old palazzo and it's just a beautiful piece of architecture. What I love about Four Seasons is that they really embrace the heritage of the building while also adding the perfect amount of Four Seasons excellence in the service and hospitality that they offer throughout all of their locations around the world. It also has one of the nicest gardens and grounds I've ever seen. 
Just walking down the grounds and exploring all the amenities makes you want to stay and relax all day, but we had to keep moving because they had some very exciting stuff laid out for us. The Four Seasons really went all out in making our experience in Florence one of a kind through local experiences. It started out with the world's famous porcelain factory, Genori 1735. They've collaborated with brands like Gucci and are known for having luxurious china and it's super cool to get a look behind the scenes of how each piece is made and painted. I really love the behind the scenes experience of seeing what everyday products are made, but it's a lot more special when a company has been around for so many years and has a rich history that we're able to see what it's materialized to today. We then moved on to a textile factory and got a glimpse of how they make some of Italy's most famous silk textiles. You can just see the attention to detail and precision that these workers have and witnessing the centuries old methods still in use was really cool. To cap things off for the day, they saved the best for last. Right as the sun was starting to set, we set off for an iconic Duomo church that lies in the heart of the city of Florence and it's what you see on all the postcards when you look up this beautiful place. Once we got to the church, we were escorted by a guide to the side entrance where we had another guide waiting. While the church itself was closed off for visitors, we were let in for a private tour. Not only did they bring us up to the ancient terrace near the top to watch the sunset over the city, but it was a truly unforgettable experience and just one of those things that you can really only experience through a luxury company such as Four Seasons. It was a perfect weather for a beautiful sunset and as we looked through the city and its red roofs, the photos that we got from this panoramic viewpoint were stunning. The more time I spend in Italy, the more I notice things that were different. People here are doing everything they could to preserve essentials like electricity and food as inflation in Italy is at record high levels of over 12%. The classic portfolio of stocks has lost around 34% and its worst performance in 100 years. Now the biggest banks and firms in the world are looking at alternative assets, things like real estate and fine art. How do we use art to our potential benefit? It's with Masterworks and I'm going to give a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. They let you invest in pieces from legends like Picasso for a fraction of the full price, and when a painting you're invested in sells, you get a slice of the potential profits, and just two weeks ago, a Masterworks painting sold for a 17.8% net return. They've done so well that there's even a waitlist to get started at Masterworks, but you can click the link in the description for priority access. So with Tuscany being known for its beautiful landscapes and rich history, it is also known for one major thing, and that is wine. Throughout our five days, we were treated to some of the most incredible and exclusive wineries in all of Tuscany, with a story behind each one and a rich history. They were all different in their own unique ways, whether it was the incredible castle with the medieval decoration, the quaint little countryside, or the 600 year old billion dollar facility of the Antonori. They all had their own charm and their own character to the wine. Everywhere we went, there were refreshments, snacks, and a stunning view as the backdrop. And as a fan of architecture, the Antonori was one that definitely stood out. They built this state-of-the-art facility that has stunning modern architecture integrated with practical use. And for example, they have vineyards all around it, including on the roof, and they dug the cellars deep underground so the wine could be preserved naturally using cool underground climate of the facility and terracotta surrounded everywhere. Of course, the culinary experience is another thing that I was really excited for because that is one of the most famous things Italy has to offer. From the Michelin star restaurant inside of the Four Seasons Firenze to the internationally recognized restaurants of all varieties, every meal was absolutely incredible from the setting to the experience. Every one of the pit stops was also well catered, but every lunch stop we made was so unique and memorable. And the first day we went to the world famous butcher and had every part of a cow you can imagine in a very lively atmosphere.
And on the second day, we visited a former Four Seasons chef in his new internationally recognized restaurant in the ancient palazzo, Sheik Nona. This setting also had a really interesting story behind it, with original art lined along the ceilings that has been preserved over these hundreds of years. From the food, locations, decorations, and live entertainment everywhere, the dinner each day was one incredible spectacle after another. You can see the attention to detail that the staff of Four Seasons put into every dinner. They even had dancers dressed on theme and artistically dancing and welcoming you into the dining room. There was a story behind each stage of the dinner while it took place in an exclusive setting, often with generations of heritage preserved. Four Seasons really went above and beyond to decorate these incredible settings that were unique in their own aspect, but also showcased different buildings throughout the Four Seasons Forense campus. The dinner they hosted in the Royal Suite was the first time they've had one here in over a dozen years, and the second night was followed by a dinner at the Villa. And they followed this up with a dinner at the Palazzo Vecchio. They ended the trip by bringing us to an opera house with a live performance to cap off a memorable week. You really got a taste for the food, the culture, and the history of the area in every meal. So throughout this trip, Four Seasons did an incredible job of hosting us while also leaving us with some memorable souvenirs to bring home. Whether it was the wine from Brunello di Montalcino, to the olive oil, the Four Seasons duffel bag, or the candle from the Genori 1735 that I can't wait to put in my new house. I also really loved the touches that they left in your room each day that made you excited for the next day with just enough hints, but also leaving you for an incredible surprise. As someone who loves cars, being able to drive a Ferrari for the first time in this setting is something that I will continue to talk about for so many years from now because it was just so surreal. Everything was so planned out and it was really amazing being part of this inaugural Beyond by Four Seasons experience and I just can't wait to see what they do next. So now that we're back from Italy from this incredible experience and it's now time to tell you about what Four Seasons has in store for 2023 and onwards. The Beyond by Four Seasons experience is heading to Genève and Maghev next in the French Alps, staying at their ski resort hotel, which will be an exclusive driving journey hosted once again by Canosa Events. This will take place from June 12th to 18th, 2023, and reservations are gonna be opening soon. And later in the year, they're going to be heading to the US for a driving experience through the Napa Valley. This event will take place from October 29th to November 4th, 2023. Another very exciting announcement that Four Seasons made in Monaco was Four Seasons Yachts. It's a luxury yacht that's going to be setting sail in late 2025, starting with routes in the Mediterranean and Caribbean. It's a 14 deck yacht that features the best of what Four Seasons has to offer from a hospitality and amenity standpoint, featuring a full service spa, salon, wellness center, and an oversized pool deck. With the Beyond by Four Seasons experience and the Four Seasons jet that goes around the world and shows you the best of their properties in 124 locations around the world at 47 countries, the yacht has me super excited and I really hope we get the opportunity to check out more of what Four Seasons has to offer in the future. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for joining us on this experience through Italy, one of my favorite places to visit. I had a ton of fun and hope you guys like this type of video and I'll see you all in the next one.